Money is the simplest thing to have. I wish you can understand this. Money is the simplest thing to have. And once you make it look difficult, it becomes difficult. Money gravitates to those that make friends with it. Never think it's hard. It's the simplest thing. Believe me, it's the simplest thing. Jesus proved it. The simplest thing. He asked them, he said, uh, give them something to eat. They said, Master, there's so many people. The men alone are 5,000. He said, give them something to eat. They said, we don't have anything. He said, what do you have? They said, only one little boy has his lunch. What did he have? So, you know, when you use your own imagination from your culture, you think, five loaves? What was that boy doing with five loaves? <laughs> no, the small things. The loaf you're talking about, you have to travel there to see loaf. It's a small thing. Jesus said, bring them. The Bible says, he held them and thanked God. Spoke words of thanks and said, distribute them. You see, there's a principle with God. Why didn't he say, all right, let me bring bread from nowhere. Let it fall out. No, 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 no. He always needs the connection of man's faith. Because this is man's word. God is no longer creating something out of nothing in the world because the world belongs to man now. He always needs man's permission. He says, what do you have? You know, sometimes some people look at us and they think that we're magicians. No, no. What I'm sharing with you is not magic. I'm talking about things concerning the kingdom of God. I could tell someone, I say, how much do you have? And you say, I've got 50. Then I say, okay, keep counting until it's 300. <laughs> Listen, I've done this many times. I've done it many times. You, you keep counting until it exceeds what I'm looking for. I've done many times through the years. Money is the simplest thing. I started learning it as a, as a young teenager. Told you the story. My mom came. She, 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 she had gotten some money and somehow left it in the taxi cab and the guy drove away. And she's in the house feeling so bad with herself. Then I came in. Now I want money to go to school. But she's in bad shape now. She doesn't, she's not in a position to give anybody any money. I said, what happened? She said, how much? She had something happened and somehow she came out of the vehicle and the taxi cab drove away. She doesn't know where the man, who the man is. There's no way to get it back. And she's just sitting there. So I went into her room, knelt down in front of her dressing mirror, Looking at myself in the mirror with this chest of drawers, you know, I'm looking. I said, Oh Lord, I came here to collect money from mommy. Then I prayed, Please help. Give us a miracle. Help my mom to get her money, the money she needs, so I can get money to go back to school. And I pray, and the Spirit said, Pull out the last drawer. I take my hand down, I pull out the drawer, there's a parcel. So I take it out, open it, it's money. So I carry the money, I go to where my mom is, I said, is this for you? She almost passed out. Where did you see it? Where did you see it? I said, come and see. 
I picked it out from here. She didn't know what to do. She said, this, this is the money. This is the money. This is the money. Now you can be sure I got what I needed to go back to school. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I learned pretty early that God does financial miracles. He does. It's not his dream. Think about Israel was his people. It was not his dream to have them suffer about food or anything. No. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yay! Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I fear no evil. But thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Mama, 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 mama. I refuse to be broke. You know, when you start serving God, listen, when you start serving God with money, the world or even those who are unlearned in the things of God may want to laugh at you. And Satan will try to embarrass you. They try to make you look stupid. Like you made a mistake. How could you give that to God? Ma, you gave that to God? Look what you have left. Does a farmer cry when he sows his seed in the farm? Just because he sowed a lot of his seeds, most of his seeds, then he says, uh, No! He's waiting for the harvest. He's waiting for the harvest. He knows harvest is coming. He knows his harvest is coming. Harvest cannot be lost. He knows it's coming. And all that time ahead of the harvest, what does he do? He's checking his field. He's checking to make sure things are growing well. He's not crying in his room. He's not crying on his knees. No, no, no. He's just watching, watching, watching his crop grow. It's getting greener and greener. He says, glory to God. Wow. To watch and get other related messages from Pastor Chris on faith, love, soul winning, prayer, Christian living, healing and health, the Holy Spirit, evangelism, prosperity and finance. Can you explore the Pastor Chris Digital Library? Pastor Chris Digital Library, a place of solutions.